welcome to day five. Five is one of my favorite numbers. It actually just is um, my top favorite number. So today I wanted to do something really special for all of you. So I have these um, a yogic path cards. They are Oracle card deck and I pulled one for everyone and I just wanted to show you first of all they're beautiful cards. They're by Sahar Rose. If you like Oracle cards, definitely check it out. But this is the card that I pulled. It's Shinamasta. And just look at it. See what it means for you today right now. Just by looking at the picture. And then I'll kind of read up on it. Just to give you guys a little insight of what's really going on here. And with the energy that is going on right now, collectively and individually. But it is... A very, very powerful card, and there is a reverse side to it as well, so I'm going to read that too. But when I just first looked at it, um, before even reading up on it, I've gotten this card maybe one other time. I've only got this card one other time, but I look at it and I just see there's this woman, and she's just holding and having like so many different parts of her. Um, but this is the uh. A goddess right here, Shinamasta, and it is the goddess of radical self-transcendence, so transformation. So I'm going to read for you guys right now. The upright is you are waking up and experiencing the radical pleasures of letting go. So a huge theme is really releasing and letting go. Shinamasta, the headless goddess, has come to guide you in this massive state of transformation as you turn passion into spiritual energy. You have an abundance of energy right now. This kundalini, this primal energy is rising in the, and you have given up a role you once carried to step up more fully into your power. Don't feel fear in this state of transition, no matter how scary it may be. Shinamasa's gift is to transmute the darkest of times into the most powerful of energies. Carry her fierceness as you tear off a former head you once had and experience the inner peace that comes with being divinely yourself, your inner power, using all these hard times as energy to fuel your inner power and get you closer to who you really are. So getting rid of those notions or perceptions of who you think you are or who you were, who you used to be, how you used to be, the people that you used to hang out with. when we hang out with certain people, sometimes we get accustomed to um, that lifestyle or that experience when we're going out and doing things. But when that changes, when something changes within us, I want to make sure this is in focus. If something changes within us, then other people see us differently and things don't feel the same. And that scares us. That change, it scares a lot of people. So um, that is really, really what this is all about. The reverse side of this is that you are giving up too much of who you are um, and what you have to offer of your divine gifts and of your love. You have lost your head in this pursuit of helping others and it has left you confused, empty, and numb. It is time to set boundaries to remember who you truly are. You don't need to sacrifice your individuality to gain appraisal and acceptance. So you don't need to worry about trying to be like someone else to gain the abundance or the life that you want. Um, you can be yourself. <laughs> you have the power within you. Instead, use this experience to go deeper into your truth and you will come out on the other side as a more self-aware and empowered person ever. So, yeah, that's what I pulled today. Just all about like this energy rising within you. You just letting go of this old self and becoming this new self and allowing these dark times. And Shinamasta, the goddess of radical self-transcendence and transformation and everything, is telling you that you're going to be okay. You just need to be present, be here right now, and allow this energy to rise within you. Take action if you feel you need to. If you feel that you don't, don't take action. But listen to yourself. You have the power within you. Everything is happening for a reason. Everything's happening, best case scenario, for you and for your journey. You're doing great. I wanted to do a meditation on our inner power. So really just tapping into our inner power, connecting, and allowing ourselves to see the abundance within our inner power. 
and find a place to accept it. So we're going to be working a little bit with the visualization, but most of it I really want to allow you guys to um, have that alone time with yourself and to really connect. And this is going to be hopefully a powerful um, meditation for you to visualize yourself just expansive energy. That's really what we're going to focus on is this expansive, transformative energy that you are and that it is okay <laughs> to um, say no. It's okay to really just be yourself and not think that you have to transform into something that you're not to get what it is that you want, if that makes sense. So make sure you're in a nice comfy seat. You can also do this laying down, which is totally cool. It'll feel really nice. And what we're going to do with our hands is just keep them uh, palms face up, very open and receptive here. We want to be open and receptive as we are given this energy to change, to transform and transcend the old self. So let your body relax here. Take a moment. And when you're ready, you can close down the eyes and soften your gaze here. Roll the shoulders back. Dip the chin slightly. We're not reaching for anything. Everything we need is right here. Palms face up wherever it feels comfortable. Do any fidgeting or movement that you need to do. And when you're ready, begin to breathe in and out through the nose. at your own pace. And the more you become aware of the sensation in your body, I encourage you to breathe deeper. Taking expansive, long inhales and settling, relaxing, exhales nice and slow. At your own pace. Breathe into this space. If you hear anything in your home, just let it be. If there are any thoughts that start to roll in, or if your body tells you to do something, simply acknowledge it and keep breathing, for it will pass and you are exactly where you need to be right now. Allow your body to relax. Give yourself permission. Just take three more breaths, make them nice and expansive here on your own. Full of power. Opening. All parts of you. So to tap into this inner power, we're going to start at the base of our spine, at the root chakra. As you keep breathing deeply here, imagine this pure white light illuminating under your seat. It grows with your breath. making contact 
with your navel area, with the root, the base of your spine here, with the very root of your body and the root of your being. Imagine this light touching you, connecting with you. Welcome this light within your body to expand all along your legs and your feet, using your breath as a tool to allow it to travel through your lower body. Notice and observe the sensation here. Allow it. Now we will allow this white light that's sparkling now to rise up a little bit higher up until the belly button here. Connecting with our sacral chakra here. Breathe here. Feel it expand along your low back. Allow your stomach to really grow with your breath. Bring this sparkling white light up underneath the breastbone here right in the center of your being where your solar plexus lives. Shine light here. Moving this prana through your body with the breath. Feeling the chest rise as you inhale. Allowing it to settle and relax as you exhale. Reach this light even higher towards the chest, towards your heart center, your heart chakra here. Breathe deeply as this light sparkles and illuminates. Observing the sensation and allowing the energy to rise. Allowing yourself to see the power that is truly you here within your heart center. Take one more breath just to allow this energy to roll down the arms and into the palms and out the fingertips. Allow this breath to travel up along the neck and the throat to illuminate this throat chakra. Opening this area of truth and communication. Let this light travel further all the way up past our mouth, our nose, our eyes, and into our third eye, just between the eyebrows here. Behind that bone, feel the energy. And imagine that light illuminating.
finish it off just by letting this light close around you, coming to the crown of your head, your crown chakra here. And as you breathe, breathe even deeper, feeling this light illuminate just an inch past your skin all around your body. With every breath, this light grows bigger and wider past your being, past your physical body. Relax in the knowing that this is your power, this is your love. You are encapsulated with it right now. The safe, white, pure light. continues to grow a foot past your body. With every breath, it fills the room more and more. Breathing even deeper now as you begin to fill the room around you. how this light may have changed it if, if it has come to more of a gold as it crystallizes around your being and around the room as it grows and illuminates take note of the color and allow it and know that it is you your life force is powerful. Relax the body even more as you breathe, letting your energy just fill the room here. And we will be here in this space literally living within and being present within our inner power here, feeling its abundance and its expansiveness. Allow what comes up and acknowledge. Remember to stay the observer here. If it helps you in these couple minutes, you can repeat an affirmation of your choosing. A simple I am statement. Whatever comes to mind, roll with it and relax.
Let's take one more minute here. Keep breathing. this light, this energy back into our being. Allow it to come closer with every exhale. Take your time. this energy back into your body. Bringing the index finger and thumb to touch now. Breathe deeply. In and out through the nose. Repeating whatever affirmation, if you chose one, in your head or out loud. Feel this energy in your body now, this light, this love. Know that it is okay to hold this energy within you. It is okay to cultivate, it is okay to really guard it sometimes, it's okay. It is okay to be yourself. It is okay to share yourself with others. an abundance, there's a light, a love, a knowledge, a wisdom within you that we really just need to be open and receptive to listen to, to feel, to perceive in our own lives because all that we are is reflected towards us. energy that you have cultivated has always been there. This power is within you. Whatever you do with it is perfect because it is from a place of love. And it is you. Dip the chin now. Elongating the back of the neck, chin to chest. Let's bring the palms together at prayer in front of the heart. Thumbs touching the chest here. Bowing down towards your hands. Take a deep breath in. Inside out through the mouth. A couple more times. Deep breath in. And let it go. Last time on your own. Slowly in your own time, begin to 
Return, blinking the eyes open. <sighs> Taking in the space around you. And when you feel ready, bringing those thumbs to the third eye and bowing slightly, namaste. The love and light within me honors the love and light within you. Your energy is powerful. Cultivate it, keep it safe. Just know that it is always there for you. You are supported, you are guided. So thank you for doing this inner power meditation with me. I love you all. I hope you have a beautiful, beautiful night. See ya.